How's the mustache look? Pretty good. Fuck you. You look fabulous, Mike. Do I? Thank you. Thank you, man. My name is Michael Eiley, Fishy Mike, self-proclaimed. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Concord, California. Uh, I'm a sophomore here at San Francisco State University, currently studying business, trying to change my major to visual communications and design. Uh, so for hobbies, uh, I like doing a lot of stuff. Um, I'm very creative, I love creating things. Um, I started out drawing, I love drawing as a little kid, creating all my own little things from that. I picked up graphic design and that's kind of the new thing I'm really hooked on. Uh, I love music. I can listen to music for hours, any kind of genre, any kind of different thing, and I make beats actually. Um, I love animation, anime, I'm big fan of that. In fact, in my designs you'll see a lot of inspiration comes from that. I love skateboarding, going outside, getting fresh air, playing basketball. Uh, anything that I can really just kind of get into, wrap my head around, take inspiration, um, I really enjoy. Uh, three words to describe myself um, is definitely humble, um, creative, and very just caring. I'm always kind of looking out for people, making sure everybody's alright. Um, with that though, I also just, I'm myself. I'm Fishy Mike with a dollar sign. Um, I'm just kind of weird. I really don't care what people kind of say, think about me. Um, at the end of the day, I know I'm a good person. I'm glad with who I am. My style is very unique. Um, probably the only guy you see wear black spirits with white socks. Um, I really just kind of take that to heart, you know, I really like being myself. Um, nowadays it sounds cheesy, but so many people kind of follow the same line. I'm proud and like happy to say that I really do kind of do my own thing. So, junior year, I was taking my sister to the airport with my dad uh, in Oakland. And while we were on the freeway, I happened to we were driving by a Chinese restaurant and I was just looking out in the back passenger window and I saw this just dope looking uh, Chinese fish guy just kind of blowing in the wind and I saw it and I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. And I don't go to Chinese restaurants very much, I'm kind of picky, so I don't really like that. So when I saw that, I was like, man, that's so sick. Um, by the time I got home, I googled up some different uh, Example is like these fish kites and just got inspired. Drew one up for myself within like a week. I had a good drawing that I was like seven. I was like, all right, it's a fish kite design that I was just in love with. I had no idea what I was going to do with it, but it was this cool design and the most in depth design I've made at that point. But after that day, I called up um, actually one of our family friends who happened to be an advertising specialist who's helped out in a million ways. Um, and he is the person to say that still makes my shirt. So I'm like, hey, I have this design. I really want to make it. What can we do? So this is a design that I've had working for a while now. Uh, I made this guy first originally. Uh, it's actually Kaneda from the movie Akira. It's my favorite movie. It's an anime. Uh, kind of going back to uh, all that anime influence um, of this design. Super stoked, not knowing if it would really sell well or not. Brought them to school, first day at lunch, didn't sell any. I was so devastated, I was like, what am I going to do, man? Um, didn't really tell anybody about it though, I kind of just whipped the box out, sat there, kind of waiting for people to come up to me. Um, having the name The Bait Shop, it doesn't kind of hold me down to being just fish. You know, that's kind of where I reach out with all these different things. Is the Bait Shop's not necessarily a brand where it's a fish on every shirt. It's a brand where you're going to have a skeleton full of, filled with the filled with um, rubies and money and gold coins and stuff like that and say searching for the booty just because it's funny and I thought it was clever. This was the shirt that at the point when I made this I was like alright I'm sticking to this it's the bait shop here it is. So it was a more simple kind of shirt um, it was really just to plainly say this is the bait shop it's not just a fan, uh, it's not just a brand about fish but it's about <laughs> kind of what I am. So over the summer I was dedicated to at least make something. So I finally came up with this design for this last shirt that I just had made. Uh, got them done. Got them over Thanksgiving break. Um, very stoked about them. They've done very well. Uh, they've actually sold out almost in just under a week and a half. Um, I've always loved the animation. I would die for a Pixar. It would be a dream. It would be so cool. Um, so those are definitely kind of the things that I would try and do once I kind of get the bait shop all settled and things like that. So, um, trying to follow or pursue graphic design, trying to make a clothing company, 
you know, I haven't done that much yet, but I really would just suggest being original. It's so cheesy, it's so like, you know, everybody says it, but it really is such a big deal. There's so many people that copy each other now, trends are just falling off, you know, people just follow each other, it's a joke. Just making something original that you're stoked about and sharing that stoke with everybody else is just something unreal. Um, nothing can compare to it. Having that and just trying to follow creativity, like express your own opinion, you know, like making your own thing. Like if nobody else thinks it's cool, screw it. Like people fuck with it eventually. Like if you have the excitement about it, it will catch on. And if not, fuck it, you got cool t-shirts. <laughs>